Hello there, how are you doing? Welcome back. And in this video, we are going to begin to customize our page. Um, the end result being that we're going to end up with a fabulous one page website that we're then going to integrate with Facebook, and that is going to become our welcome page on our Facebook page. God, there are just too many pages, aren't there? Anyway, so um, the first thing we want to do here is our lovely blank canvas, okay? And you'll notice up here on the right, um, there are two little tabs. One says HTML, the other one says visual. Now, what we want to do is start in the visual editor. Unless you are incredibly confident with HTML and you want to go straight in here and start using HTML, which of course you can do, but for, for today's exercise, we are going to start in the visual editor. Okay, so here we are, a blank screen using visual. Now, even though we're in the visual editor, please don't mistake this for or what what is called a what you see is what you get a WYSIWYG page um, because uh, just through personal trialing and testing uh, WordPress just doesn't work like that and if you're going to ask me why I don't know um, but it doesn't so what you see on this page won't necessarily be exactly what you see on the actual page but I'm going to show you how you can keep testing that as you go through to make sure that it does look exactly how you want it to look so the first thing we want to do here on this page is I want to upload a graphic. I want a header to my welcome page. OK, so in order to upload graphics and audio and video and things like that, we're using these buttons up here. OK, this button here uploads images. This one uploads videos. This one uploads audio. And this one just adds media. Yeah, so uh, anything, you know, videos, audio, whatever you want, you can add media there. Anyway, I'm going to go into the add an image box, OK, and click on that. And that's going to bring me up this screen here. And my images are on my computer. Now, notice you've also got the option from URL here. So if you've got an image that you've already uploaded, it's on your server or whatever, and you want to actually insert the image from your URL, you can put the URL in there. For now, we're simply going to go straight to our computer and upload a file off our local computer. OK, so we click on Select Files. Now, I have created a little file. I like to get everything in one place. I'll show you my text file in a minute, which basically has, I've, I've grabbed everything that I need to create this page, OK? So in this little file here, I've already put the images that I want to use on this page. And the first one I want to use is this header image here. So I'm going to click on that. It's a JPEG image, you can see. And the dimensions of the image are 510 pixels wide. This is the most important one here, 510 pixels wide. That's because a Facebook page width is no more than 520 pixels wide. So we want to make sure that all of our images and everything that we put in the page is less than 520. So to be on the safe side, we just make everything 510 pixels wide and then we know it's going to fit nicely within the Facebook page. So when you're creating images um, and doing images, then do make sure you don't make them any wider than 510. Now, we do cover creating images uh, within the Social Network Academy site. So if you're unsure how to actually go and create all of your images and how to personalize images and all that kind of stuff, then there is a course specifically on creating your own graphics um, within the Social Network and Academy site. And of course, we talk about sizes and that in there as well. Anyway, for now, what we're going to do is we're simply going to open this graphic like this and it's going to upload it onto what's called a media library within WordPress. OK, so there is our graphic um, down here. You see there's a link. I don't want it linking to anything. I don't want the graphic linking to anything. So I'm going to click none there. And then it says about the size. You can see it's different sizes. Well, I want the full size. OK. And I want it to um, uh, align in the center of the page. So I want it full size and I want it to align center. So I've clicked those. And then all you do is simply click insert into post. And there it is. There's my graphic in the post. OK. Um, now, what we want to do, I've, for some reason I've got, there we go, that's better. I just had a big space up above there, didn't I? So I just wanted to get rid of that. So now what we want to do is just go and have a look. Because on this page, like I said, it's, it doesn't look centered, does it? It looks all a bit odd. So what I'm going to do is go over here and save draft. Um, and then that's going to bring up 
a little button at the top of the screen that's going to allow me to preview the page okay so there we go preview page so if you click on preview page it automatic opens another screen okay and it gives us this preview page here um, now there you can see that the graphic is right in the middle of the screen okay now for those of you for those canny ones out there you're gonna be thinking why is there a kind of a gray background aha very good question that's because I was just playing with WordPress before I started this video and I changed the background so I will go through that with you in a couple of videos time when we actually look at um, changing the color of your background of your screen but for now what I want to do is just make sure that that's in the center of the page and it is bang in the center so I'm really really happy with that okay now what you can do is because we I want to use a couple of other graphics within this page we can actually go and upload all the graphics straight away okay and they'll be saved within the gallery here okay they're part of the media library now within WordPress so I'm gonna go ahead and do that I'm gonna go and grab this other graphic here that I want to use and I'm gonna upload that okay and then what I'm gonna do is when we get down here and I'm just gonna click none because I don't want it to link but I think I have to do that again when we use it but rather than insert into post for now I'm just gonna save all changes so that image is now saved within my gallery okay and then I'm gonna go back over here to from computer and I'm gonna select files again and then I'm gonna grab this image because I want to use that image okay and I'm gonna upload that one as well and once again I'm gonna come down here click none and then rather than insert into post at the moment I'm just gonna click save all changes okay so that's all of the graphics that I want added into my WordPress document and they're all saved for me within WordPress at the moment so I don't need that anymore so on the next video what we're now going to do is go and add some text um, and uh, and add those other graphics and pretty much get the, the page all set up so I'll see you on the next video